guys, so today I thought it would be fun to show you how to make a vision board. Now, I'm not really like a big vision board person, but I have been getting into lately, and I don't know if it's because of the new year or if it's because of the new baby or what, but I've been really trying to organize my life, organize my thoughts, get myself together, and a part of that is making a vision board. I'm actually thinking about sharing more of how I'm organizing myself. So if you guys like this video, let me know and I will do more. I'm definitely like the type of person who's kind of just like wants to be happy and just go with the flow and that just really doesn't work. And it's actually not something that I can do with two kids and the job that I actually have or the career that I'm doing right now. So organization is key. And that means that I'm going to need a lot of motivation to get me there. So that's where the vision board comes in. So today I'm going to show you how to make a really bomb vision board. This is actually the one that I'm going to make with you guys today. This is not my actual vision board. <clears throat> I made a fake one for this video. And that's just because I'm not a very private person. You guys know I have like daily vlogs or weekly vlogs now. And I share a lot of my life here online, but I don't really enjoy sharing sharing things that I haven't done or things that I'm working for. I don't know, I just don't like to put that out in the universe. I'd rather just show people when it's done. So I don't really wanna show you my real vision board because it has a lot of personal stuff on that that I'm just not ready to share. But I did make you guys <laughs> This is a really cool one that looks very similar to my real vision board. It just has different goals on it. To me, making it on the computer is such a better way to do it just because, well, I'm a computer person anyway, but just because there's so many more options. Like I feel like when you grab magazines, you're only limited to what's inside the magazine. What if you have a goal that isn't in the magazine? Then you can't put on your vision board. That's a little crazy, right? So I really like to do this online because you have a plethora of photos to work with and quotes and just anything that your little heart desires is at your fingertips so you're bound to get a more true vision board I guess true to your goals and your vision and what you're actually wanting to visualize all right so I'm going to show you how to make one of these guys on your computer lego so here is my desktop the first thing you'll notice is that I have a vision board folder so you're going to want to open a new folder for you to contain all of your photos that you're going to find and save so as you can see, I already made my vision board so it's full, but I'm gonna still walk you through how to do this. So I like to use Pinterest. You can use Google, Pinterest, whatever. Pinterest tends to have a lot of inspiring type of quotes and just photos that are really nice and chic and well put together. I don't know, I feel like more women use Pinterest so everything is really pretty. <laughs> so you're gonna get your photos online, but of course first you wanna define what your goals are. So I just chose four really generic goals for this video. So I just did, if you wanna exercise more, if you wanted to wake up earlier in the morning, which is actually one of my real goals. If you want to keep your house clean. And if you want to say you want to build a business, whether it's like blogging or what, I don't know, whatever you want to do an online business. So those are the four goals that we're working with today. All you have to do is open up Pinterest or Google, whatever, and type in things that relate to what you're trying to do. So if you're trying to exercise, you can say exercise inspiration. And then you're gonna see a bunch of photos of exercise inspirations. You can just kind of scroll through, you know, find quotes that you like, sore today, strong tomorrow, sure. And then you're gonna save it to your vision board folder, just like that, okay? And you're gonna treat this just like you treat looking through magazines. So for example, if there is like a picture here, but you only want the word workout, then you can save this whole image even though it says lazy girl thigh workout and it has like all these photos, just save the image and then you can cut out the word workout later. So just save that to your folder and you can just cut that out and make it your own later. Now, when you're looking for photos or quotes or whatever, you do wanna be as specific as possible because when you're looking at your vision board, you really want to visualize yourself doing these things or living in this house or whatever it is, if it's traveling, whatever, you wanna visualize yourself in these places and doing these actions. Otherwise, there's really no point in a vision board. It's about visualization. So look at that grandma right there. Go ahead, girl, go ahead, girl. Let's choose little Miss Fang at 74. All right, so you get the point, saving it. Let's move on to the next thing. So the next goal was to wake up earlier. So you can say early morning, just type that in and see what pops up. I'm going for like airy and chic and that kind of thing. So I really kind of want like nice white photos, you know what I mean, clear, clean photos. This is a photo of a smoothie, sure. Let's do it, fine. I'll wake up in the morning, make a smoothie. I wanna become a morning person. So I'll save this quote, cause I can cut that up. 
Okay, so that is how you would collect all your photos in your folder. So there's actually a few ways that you can put your vision board together digitally, and I like to use Adobe Illustrator. This is how I literally put mine together, just start a new one. I like my vision board to be 10 by 10 inches, just a nice little square. You can make it however big or small that you want. Then I just go to my folder with all of my photos. I just highlight all my photos and I literally just drag them and bring them across. Now I know this might be like a little confusing to some of you guys who don't know how to use Illustrator, but just keep watching. I'm gonna show you this and then I'm gonna show you an alternative way. So the first thing I do is when I have all my photos, just like if I had cut out photos from a magazine, I like to organize them into sections. So I'm not going to be using all of this, but it's just good to have. So as you can see, all of this here is quotes. We have working out down here. We have house, keeping your house clean. We have waking up early over here. And then right here is your business, okay? So we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna start with the corners and we're gonna work our way in, which is what I like to do. So start with keeping the house clean. You're really just going to start putting everything together on your vision board where you want it to go. Just like if you had cut out magazine articles, you're just gonna go in and place them where you want them to be on your vision board. And then of course, cutting out anything that you don't want to make it look aesthetically pleasing. I just like to work from the outside in because it's just easier to fill the space that way. So you just kind of put things together like a puzzle or wherever you think they fit or make sense. If you notice here, if you zoom in, I kind of like leave a little bit of space, a little white space. This is like getting really designy right now, but I just like that because it kind of gives your eye a break. And then I left a little space here, which I can like fill with the quote later. So what I'm trying to say is that everything doesn't have to touch. You can like leave spaces. So that's keeping your house clean. I'm going to start on this side with working. So building a business. So I really like this photo of the laptop in the window and then say my specific goal because of course you want to be as specific as possible is to start a blog then you can go ahead and put you know whatever is going to remind you of that this is somebody's blog here that they have a photo of so sure let's make that your blog <laughs> that you can visualize and I want to just crop that a little bit don't feel like you need to put everything on here because you have a lot of stuff and it does not all need to fit. So just kind of building in from the corners. I like to add my quotes when I'm done adding on my photos. So for example, with the house cleaning, I would probably take this guy here. This list says clean house, which is really what I saved it for. I, didn't, I don't want any of the other stuff on there. I just want the part that says clean house. So I'm going to cut that out. And I'm just gonna put that little little guy right there, right in between that space. Another thing that I'll show you is that I did save a photo that has the year on it. I don't know, I just thought that was a kind of a cute touch to make it specialized to the year that you're doing this visualization. So if you want, you can do that. I'm just gonna cut out the 2017. You can like place it anywhere, of course. Do this when your photos are all there. You always wanna do the quotes last because they're gonna kind of be little add-ins. I will show you too that I got little doodads, like little hearts, just for little spots that might need to be filled later on if they don't fit perfectly, the puzzle piece. And sometimes it's just, just kind of nice. So you have little hearts that you can place in random spots like there. And then just continue filling in from the corners. So this is what it ended up looking like. We have keeping our house clean right here. It's a little awkward space right here. I didn't realize it's fine. <laughs> and then I have the year. I have, you know, building your online business, waking up early. If you notice that I have the exact time that I want to wake up, and then the words wake up, this little cheeky quote here, puts a little pep in your step. You can see how this little doodad kind of filled that little corner there. It's a very clean, but very specific vision board. So after you have your vision board complete, all you have to do is save it. You know, save it as a PDF and then you can go get it printed out. I'm going to show you one more way to do it. If you guys don't know how to use Illustrator, here is another way. There's a website called BeFunky.com, not sponsored, but I did find it. It's a free website where you can make a collage. All you have to do is click on the collage maker when you get to the website, which will bring you here. Go to your computer, go to your vision board folder, 
and you are able to import, I think it's 50 photos at a time, so I'm just going to do a couple at a time. So just press import and it's going to put all your photos that you just got off of Pinterest or Google right there for you, okay? So it's kind of a similar thing. The only thing about this is that you can't organize it into categories, like you can't put quotes in one spot, you can't put different themes in one spot, which is whatever. You'll have to scroll through all the photos to find what you're looking for. Okay, so all my photos are right here on the left side as you guys can see. I'm going to click on layouts now you have a bunch of different layouts that you can do you know if you wanted to just put them all, all your photos in little squares you can do that I really wouldn't recommend this especially if you want to do quotes because then you're gonna have a quote like filling up an entire square and it's gonna look kind of weird I really do recommend you just do it freehand I think that looks the best that's just my design <laughs> um, recommendations you can do it however you like if you like those little Instagram boxes please feel free to do it I just think it's probably gonna be hard to do if you want to put quotes on there too. You can click grid but instead of going to grid you can create your own which I think is the best and you'll want to go to settings. You want to make your size here whatever size you want to put it at. I don't know what the equivalent of 10 inches is <laughs> off the top of my head so I'm just gonna say 3,000 pixels by 3,000. Don't want to lock it. Okay. I don't know if that's right, so don't quote me on that. Just you gotta figure out what size you want it because it only saves it in pixels. Go to your images and then you're going to do the same exact thing that I did on Illustrator, but here in the free website, okay? I'll just use the same uh, images that I already chose since you already saw. So you click on your image and you would put it there. Just resize it. All you have to do is scroll up and down like that and it's really easy. Now, if you wanted to crop this, all you have to go to is image editor, crop, you can resize, rotate, whatever, and you can kind of get this photo to where you want it to look. I want to crop out that big window on top, and then you can go down to your little guy here, and it's right there. Really cool. So if you want to send something behind another photo, like this guy, maybe I want this closet picture to go behind, you just go to options and you can click move backwards or move forwards. So move backwards. So let me quickly put some stuff in here so you guys can see. It looks exactly like Illustrator. You can do the exact same thing for free at BeFunky.com. Okay, so when you're done with that, you would just save that image. And to do that, you would just press the save button and save to your computer. Okay, so after you spent all your time making your vision board, you can just go to FedEx, Kinko's, Office Max, Staples, wherever you like to get your stuff printed and print out your vision board. Mine is 10 by 10, so I just got it printed on an 11 by 17 photo. Just print it on whatever photo is most appropriate. And I suggest something that's a little bit thicker than regular photo. This is my fake vision board, so I don't want to waste my money. I don't care if it's just a dollar. <laughs> so I just got it printed on regular paper, but I just wanted to show you. Then you can just cut it out with your scissors. Go to your local arts and crafts store, AC Moore, Michaels, whatever it is. Get like a little cheap frame, a nice little chic white one and then put your cut out vision board in the frame and it is good to go and beautiful. And that's how I created my beautiful, inspiring, helpful vision board. It's actually pretty effective. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this really detailed tutorial. Hope it wasn't too much, but I really wanted to get specific with how I made it. Just remember to be really specific with your vision. The more specific, the better and choose action photos, photos of people actually doing what you're trying to visualize. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more tips about what I'm kind of doing to, I don't know, organize or better my self-improvement, that type of thing, let me know in the comments below and I will share more. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.